What is up guys, welcome back to yet another brand new Major Ben Gaming video. I do apologize for my lovely wall here, my cat likes to tend to climb it and destroy it and it's a little frustrating but what can you do? So anyway, I want to talk today about a game that I'm very, very disappointed with. I'm sad that we actually have to have the discussion in the way we're going to be having this discussion today because Last of Us 2, as we all know, released on PC yesterday. And unfortunately, the release of this game has been an absolute disaster. It is pretty much unplayable right now. Even a day later from when this released, it is unplayable. There are so many crashes, so many bugs, so many glitches in this game that just cause this game not to be worth buying at this time, hence the title of the video. Many other people have said the same thing. I want to just show you guys, I've not got any gameplay in the background because to be honest, I've played for such a small amount of time and had so many crashes in that small amount of time. I've probably played half an hour, maybe slightly more, and I've had over five hard GPU freezing crashes, which by the way, can cause physical damage to a GPU if this continues to go on any longer which is a little worrying, which is why I do not want to continue playing the game in the current state. So I don't have any gameplay, but I do want to just go through what is actually going on and why this has happened. Because up to now, most of the Sony games that have come from the PlayStation 5 over to PC or even PlayStation 4 over to PC have actually been pretty good. And that's because Sony recently purchased uh, a company called Nixies, N-I-X-X-E-S, which usually do all the games um, that are ported from PlayStation to PC. And they've been phenomenal. From Days Gone, which has been good, it had some bugs and glitches, but it was very, very good. Um, many, many graphical options and settings that you could change. God of War was fantastic. All the Spider-Man games have been fantastic. And also, what's the other one? Horizon. Horizon Forbidden West. No, Zero Dawn. I always get those two confused. That one has been very, very good as well. But unfortunately, as you'll see from this article here, uh, the actual, the, this very big, amazing game that we've all loved for so many years is actually being recently released and ported by a company called Iron Galaxy. Now, Iron Galaxy, I've heard of previously, they are pretty much notoriously known for being extremely lazy with their porting games. They do not do a good job with these games and they are just a, 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 the cheap, cheap route to get games from console to PC. That's the cheapest route you could possibly go. So I don't know what the hell is going on and why Sony thought it was a good idea to port one of their most highly anticipated and generation-defying games to PC by this company. I cannot put my head or my finger, whatever the freaking expression is, I don't care. I cannot put my finger on what on earth drove Sony to let Iron Galaxy do this port over Nixies. This game is a game that is treasured by so many fans. It is such a big, important game. It's a phenomenal storyline, mainly the first one, obviously, we're talking about. Phenomenal storyline. One of my favorite games of all time. And it is it's just a, it's, it's a, it's a gem. It's a, a complete gem of a game. And they've used one of the worst studios. And now this game has released on PC 10 years after the original launch to the worst criticism. There are some thumbs up because people have kind of commented on the fact that the game is so good, but they still mention stuff. But um, as you can see by these reviews, crashes every 20 minutes. Game is badly optimized. Game looks great, just needs better optimization. Wow, this runs like crap. Just, just look, I'm just going to scroll gradually. You can see through all of this stuff, crash simulator, crash count 14. He's only played 6.2 hours. And by the way, probably two of those hours were doing shader compilation. I had to leave my PC for over an hour and I have a, um, a 12900K, an RTX 3080 with 64 gigabytes of RAM extremely good PC. Yeah, okay, it's not a 4090, which I'm hoping to get one day, but it's an extremely good PC. And it took me over an hour to do compiling shaders in the main menu lobby. So yeah, the whole compiling shaders thing is just a complete mess. But just looking at the just the severe disappointment in everyone's things, obviously, uh, yeah, your PlayStation console isn't special anymore is quite funny. Um, and obviously people are talking about how great the game is just without the bugs, obviously. But it is the one, of, I must admit, it is one of the most graphically demanding uh, games that I've seen. It's it's completely incredible. This game is one of the best looking games I've seen in a long time. But 
just the performance is just unusable at the moment. I'm hoping they're going to roll out a patch very, very soon. I mean, look at look at the comments like this. Bought the game, downloaded more than 70, 70 gigs of data. Started the game running around 20 or more minutes for shader process. That's quick compared to me. I, I had to wait over an hour. Um, finally starts a new game, wait around five more minutes of loading times. I've seen people have loading loading times of the actual game during like cutscenes or during that bit where you're driving the car at the start of the game and you're not even driving, you're just looking around. That's had a loading screen planted in front of it. It's just like, and I have an SSD faster than what's in the PS5. Like, it's just a joke. And I feel really bad for Naughty Dog because they're getting completely review bombed, rightly so, when it's nothing to do with Naughty Dog. This didn't go through Naughty Dog. This was, as I said earlier, um, done by Iron Galaxy. But PlayStation absolutely should have checked this. It took me five minutes to get my first crash. Any moron could tell this game is not up to scratch. And I had multiple more over the half an hour that I actually played. And again, other people are having 15 plus crashes with only like three to four hours of playtime. Like, what is that? Like, you do not have to play a game long like that to and figure out that it's broken like it's just completely broken and on steam deck i had to do the same thing i obviously downloaded the game for, took ages 70 70 whatever gigabytes which is fine the, the file size it's fine it doesn't matter then i actually ha had to end up waiting an hour plus to do these shaders again for steam deck which is which is understandable but that should not take an hour to do shaders it's ridiculous and then obviously playing going into the game even on the lowest settings, it's pretty much unusable on Steam Deck. It drops below 30 in so many cases. Had hard crashes on Steam Deck as well. So many crashes on Steam Deck. It got to the point where it was running at like 1 to 2 FPS and it crashed and it just was showing 1 to 2 FPS and nothing was happening. Couldn't do anything. Had to force reboot my Steam Deck. And I'm just at the point where I don't even want to attempt to run this game at the moment until it's patched because I don't know what damage it's going to do with the constant freezing and graphics card freeze. I had errors on my GPU that I hadn't seen before and it made me feel a little bit worried it's a 3080 it's an expensive card like i do not want to lose that so i don't know i'm just pissed off because i was so excited i played the game before on playstation but at the same time i was so excited to experience this in a new state with you know extremely detailed graphics ray tracing you know water reflections or whatever ripples that they put in it amazing graphics the game looks better than anything i've seen in a long time and uh, or anything I've seen ever to be honest and I was really excited to play it in the way that it is and when it was running it was fine it was fine when it was working but just I'm not going to keep crashing my PC over a game like this it's just not worth it so I'm going to wait if they do update it I'll let you know that there's an update and things have got better but it's just lazy just so lazy in my opinion and Sony should not have let this slip under the rug through Iron Galaxy whatever reason they've done this they should not have let this slip because this is one of their top IPs. This isn't Returnal. Returnal had a better PC launch than this. This is The Last of Us. People have literally waited years. A lot of PC players do not go out and buy consoles. They don't do that. They just they just purely don't go out and buy a console. It's just not what people do. Like people have waited on PC because this was always going to come to PC eventually. Like when PC started to be more dominant and more people have it, you know, there are, there are people who just don't want to go. And and this guy, like, for example, look at this guy here. Uh, where is it? Um, where, where am I finding this thing? Come on, scroll down. Sorry, guys, two sex. Uh... Yeah, look, to say this game runs poorly is an understatement. I've waited for 10 years to play The Last of Us, and although my PC can run almost any other game, this one is completely unplayable. I am seriously disappointed. It takes over 20 minutes to load it before it plays. Compiling shaders takes an absurdly long time, and once it's running... The video does not match the audio. When I when a character speaks, it takes five to nine seconds. Like it's just there's so many bugs. By the way, I have 132 games on Steam. Yet The Last of Us Two is showing up as my only game. Like uh, that's good. He's got a lot of problems going on there. But he's look, he's barely even played for an hour. Like and he's had that many issues already. Like I mean that's pretty fast for uh, shader compilation. I'm not sure how he's been able to achieve that sort of speed, but. I don't know, man. Disappointment is just is an understatement. He is right. And I hope that we get this fixed. And I hope that Sony takes Nixies and gets them to have a look at this and fix things because there's a lot more than just crashes. There's a lot of bugs that need to be sorted as well. So uh, thank you for watching my video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in future videos. Bye-bye for now.